In this video, we will learn about the analytics of a smart survey. To view the analytics of your survey, click on the option Smart Survey on the left side of the screen. Here, click on the survey you want to view. Click on the Analytics option. Let's go through each option on the screen. Starting from the top, you can view the version history of your survey. At the right side, you have the option to turn auto-reloading of data on or off while viewing analytics. Further down, you can see a graph of number of voters and dates of answering. You can also schedule voting from the analytics page. Simply click on Schedule Voting, change the start date, end date or stop the survey and click on Save. Further down, you will see four options, Voters, Filters, Questions and Comments. On Voters, you will see all the users who answered your survey and their dates of answering. There is also the option View in the front of each voter. When you click on it, you will see in a new tab the answers given by that voter for each question asked. Next, you can select any voter by checking the box next to their name. Say you want to thank any voter for answering. Simply click on his or her box, then click on the pink tab at the bottom right. From here, you can send an email or a message. To send a message, click on send an SMS. And to send an email, click on send an email. And then type your message. Then simply click on broadcast. The next option is filters. We had chosen gender and age. As you can see, our data has been divided into the two selected filters. Say you want to send a thank you message to all the women who answered. Simply click on the white checkbox beside female. Then click on the pink tab. Click on send an SMS. Type your message. And click on broadcast. You can select and reach out to other sections of the filters similarly. Next option is questions. Here you can see a key of the percentage of people who answered denoted by their color. So if the question was answered by 100% of the voters who took the survey, the question will be red in color. Below this key are the questions asked and the percentage of answers received for each question. So the customers were asked if they liked the cafe. As you can see the question is colored red and 100% of the survey takers have answered this. To see the answers, click on the question. Here, you can see 4 people said yes and 2 people said no. Say so you want to reach out to the ones who said yes, click on the option yes. The pink tab with 4 names and respective details will appear at the bottom right. Click on it and reach out to these customers. Next, in this path trail, the customers who said no were asked a further question. To view the answers to that, click on the next option. Here you can see both the users who did not like the cafe had an issue with the service. Also, the symbol right here, when you click on it, all the people who answer the respective question are automatically selected and the pink tab will reappear. The next option is comments. Here you can read any comments posted on your survey given commenting was allowed during creation. Lastly, at the bottom right corner, you can see a white circle. When you click on it, you will get a pop-up tab with options to filter the data by. Here, you can filter your users under multiple options. Say you want to see the responses of men who answered via web. Click on web under answered via and mail under gender. That's it. Now click on the green circle at the bottom right. As you can see, now you can view the filter data. To reset the filters, simply click on the white circle and click on reset all. And that is it. This is how you can view and read into the analytics of your smart survey.